Hello, friends. This is Ted Pappas. And before I tell you about a terrific play at the Public Theater, I want you to write down this number, 412-316-1600. That is the telephone number of Pittsburgh Public Theater's box office at the O'Reilly. I want to make sure that none of you miss the new show at the Public Theater because I think it is one of the most exciting shows we have ever produced. The play is called True, T-R-U. That's short for Truman Capote. It's wonderful, it's funny, it's very entertaining, but what really sends it into the stratosphere is the magnetic and phenomenal performance of its star, Eddie Corbuch as Truman Capote. I was born in New Orleans and named Truman's Breakfast Persons. Some years later, I took my stepfather's name, Capote. When I was a child, I was called Buddy or Little T. Since I came to New York to work when I was 17, some good friends started to call me True, which has a resonance I like, True. I've been a writer since I was eight years old. I've produced over a hundred plays at the Public Theater, and I've seen hundreds, probably thousands of shows on Broadway and in London's West End, and I can honestly say that Eddie Corbett as Truman Capote at the Public ranks among the greatest performances I have ever experienced. Eddie is a virtuoso. He is one of New York's most beloved actors, an award winner with a dozen Broadway shows under his belt. I'll never forget him in that gorgeous revival of Carousel at Lincoln Center, or in his starring roles in Sondheim's Assassins and Sweeney Todd. He's a force of nature and a great artist, and I want all of you to see him as Truman Capote. True takes place in 1975 in Capote's swanky Manhattan apartment overlooking the United Nations. It's Christmas Eve and he's all alone, except of course for us, the audience. He tells us delicious stories, regales us with tasty gossip, and lets us in on the secrets of the rich, famous, and fabulous. I've known everybody. I knew Garbo and Chaplin since my very first visit to Hollywood. I knew Marilyn Monroe well. I knew Martin Luther King and I knew Adlai Stevenson. As a matter of fact, we were staying in the same house when he died. As Soon as I heard, I quickly ran in and chose one of his neckties. He was a very nice man. <laughs> Andy Warhol once confided in me and me alone that he'd always wanted somebody to call him Daddy. <laughs> no one could gossip like Truman Capote, and no one could write like him either. Breakfast at Tiffany's, A Christmas Memory, In Cold Blood, the list goes on and on. This Broadway hit, True, was written by J. Preston Allen, the playwright and screenwriter of The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, which won the Academy Award for Maggie Smith. She also wrote the screenplay to Cabaret, which won the Academy Award for Liza Minnelli. In fact, when True opened on Broadway in 1989, it won the Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play for the wonderful Robert Morse. Everything J. Preston Allen touched turned into an award-winning event, and True at the Public Theater is indeed an event. Friends, before all of us get too busy with spring cleaning and dressing up for the prom, trust me on this, you do not want to miss this show. Eddie Corbett as Truman Capote in True. You will never forget it. It's at the Public Theater now through May 22nd. As all of us say at Pittsburgh Public Theater, everything you've heard is true. <laughs>